Slow play, then, guys. We have breaking news for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Finally, finally, we've waited for this, and they dropped some information. The release date officially announced for the next gen or current gen PS5 and Xbox Series XS versions for Xenoverse 2 is coming May this year. That could potentially be when the next DLC drops. Very reasonable for that to actually happen, just because you know, summer is a common time, or I guess time frame, or even the season. For when we see Xenoverse 2 DLC drop. Last uh, DLC pack 16 uh, with Beast Gohan and everything did drop, I believe, last year in May as well. So I'm not confirming that, but we are getting the confirmation that the next gen update is dropping. So on the official Bandai Namco uh, page, they say that Xenoverse 2 for PS5 and Xbox Series XS will be releasing May 24th, 2024. Okay, so mark your calendars for that date. It's going to be dope. Again, uh, we don't know when the next. DLC is coming, but at least we know that the next update or whatever is coming for Xenoverse 2 should be, uh, you know, around May. So PS5 and Xbox Series XS owners can upgrade uh, slash use smart delivery and transfer save data from PS4 to Xbox One. If you guys have played Kakarot Next Gen or even the recent Fighters Next Gen that dropped yesterday, uh, you can do this. Okay, so just make sure that everything is updated uh, and then you just, you know, install and everything. I'll make a full tutorial when it actually drops, but for now, I mean, we just have the information of that okay so a uh, detailed upgrade and save data transfer instructions will be announced at a later date okay so let's check this out on the official site what they posted here the highly anticipated ps5 xbox series xs version of the hit game xenoverse 2 coming may 24 2024 uh, playstation 5 version will be available in japan only on may 23rd these upgraded versions of the game are optimized for current generation systems and enable you to enjoy Xenoverse 2 fun with lots of improved graphics and partially reduced load times, okay? So I don't think it's going to be anything significant, but they do add a... Uh, oh, okay, look at this. Okay, check this out. It looks like they have a little video of it that we can actually see here. So uh, is this the next-gen version? I assume it is, yeah. So we have some grass and stuff flowing around i don't think that's normally in the game unless i'm mistaken but i think they added that um the frame rate looks really nice i'm not seeing a major major difference yeah it's definitely yeah it's the grass the environmental effects the quality of this isn't great that's the problem so it's like we can't really fully see it but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be upscaled to uh, upscale to 4k and everything wow this looks good they did a pretty decent job of it. Okay. I, I, you know, I messed with it, you know? Again, people, some people were thinking that it's going to get, like, some crazy graphical change. It's just going to be more upscaled. Things are going to look slightly better. So that's good, right? And right here, in addition to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, has a bright future with more updates and additional paid DLC planned. Look at that. That's what you need to know, okay, for the future stuff. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. I'm so happy we finally got some information. They left us in the dark, and all of, I guess... The uh, wait for it has been for at least them to get the, you know, announcement of this first. Okay, that makes sense. And there is potential that we could see the DLC releasing along with it. Not a confirmation, but I don't know. Let me know if you're excited. I'm excited for this next gen version. It's just going to run better and everything. It's just so nice to know. I'll keep you guys updated. Leave a like, subscribe here on the channel, ring my notification bell, and peace out. <laughs> this is Broly, and you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe, or else I'll destroy your entire planet! <laughs>